Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the inverse of this given 3 by 3 matrix by using the method called elementary row operation. And here I have represented my 3 by 3 matrix by an A matrix and we are going to find the inverse matrix represented by a power negative 1. Inverse matrix can also be written as A power negative 1. Before I go any further, I have just put down an identity matrix. I stands for identity matrix is also 3 by 3 as of the same dimension. 3 rows and 3 columns. Identity matrix means that its main diagonal is going to have all 1's and the rest of the entries going to be zero. Now we are going to go ahead and start working on elementary row operation. The very first thing we have put down an augmented matrix. The left hand side as you can see is same as an A matrix and on the right hand side of this demarcation bar, the one that I represented by red bar is this is an identity matrix. So in other words in that matrix I put down an A matrix on the left hand side and then on the right hand side is our identity matrix and our task is to make this A matrix convert into an identity matrix then on the other side this matrix is going to be our plan of action. Here is our very first step towards simplifying these augmented matrix. So the very first thing let's focus on these two numbers over here 2 and 5. Somehow we want to cancel one of them so what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply the first row by 5 R1. R1 means that the row 1 I'm going to multiply by 5 and at the same time I'm going to multiply this second row by negative 2. I'm going to put down this one. So that means our first row is going to become 10 0 negative 5 and we need to multiply on this side as well so this becomes 5 0 0 and the second row by negative 2 so this is going to become negative 10 negative 2 0 and this side become 0 negative 2 0 and the third row we just leave it alone I'm going to just write it as it is 0 0 1 and in our next step we are going to make this wherever I'm going to put a circle that means I'm going to make it a 0 so this is the way I'm going to write down I'm going to say add r2 to r1 and put it to r2 in the row 2 so once we do this one so our second row is going to become, when we add these two, it's going to become 0, negative 2, and this is going to become negative 5. Likewise, when we add these two, that's going to become 5, negative 2, 0. So the first and third row is going to stay same, just leave it alone, 10, 0, negative 5, 5, 0, 0, and likewise 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, 1. And in the next step, we are going to make this negative 2 as 0. In order to make this negative 2 0, I am going to multiply R2 And then I'm going to multiply 2 times R3 plus 2R3 
3 and put it back to in row 2. So our second row is going to become simply 0, 0, 1, isn't it? And then 5, negative 2, 2. The rest is going to stay same. So 10, 0, negative 5. And here 5, 0, 0. Likewise, here stays same. 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, 1. And now in next step, we are going to make these negative 5 and at the same time 3 as 0. So the only way we can make them 0 by just simply writing down row 1 plus 5 times row 2 and then just put it back on row 1 and likewise I am going to say row 3 minus 3 row 2 and put it back in row 3. R3 means row 3. So now we are going to get, if we perform these operations, we're going to get 10. Be careful with these number 10, 0, 0. And on this side is going to be 30, negative 10, and 10. And the second row is going to stay same, 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 2, and 2. And finally, this, the third row is simply is going to become 0, 1, 0. And on this right hand side, this is going to become negative 15, 6, and negative 5. And now in our right up here in the first row we have a 10 we are going to make 1 so what we're going to do is we are going to multiply the first row by 1 tenth if we do this thing we are simply going to get this when we divide or multiply by 1 over 10 that's going to become 1 0 0 on this side is going to become 3, negative 1, 1. The rest is going to stay same. 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 2, 2, 0, 1, 0, negative 15, 6, negative 5. And finally, we are almost finished. We need to switch these rows 2 and 3. So if we can do this thing, we will be done. So we will get an identity matrix. So this top row is 1, 0, 0. And now we're going to switch this one. This third row becomes second row. And the second row becomes third row. Likewise, we are going to write down, switch that one as well. 3, negative 1, 1 stays same. Says third row becomes negative 15, 6, negative 5. And this simply become 5, negative 2, and 2. So thus, our this left-hand side uh, matrix has transformed into identity matrix. And the right-hand side matrix is going to become negative 1. A inverse matrix and thus here is our A inverse matrix and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you do this one on your own you can take your time you can pause the video luckily I have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye